Hi and welcome to this new tutorial series about Vuex. In this first video you will learn about the core concept of the framework while in part 2 we step in a bit deeper and go more into detail. In the last and third episode we will create a sample lab together step by step. So stay tuned if you'd like to learn more about Vuex and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Vuex is a state management framework for Vue.js. Now you might be asking, what is it good for? Well, Vuex enables developers to store all data required for your application into one global object instead of cluttering them into different components. For example, if you wanted to build a to-do list app, you would probably store all to-do items into a component. Then you might also have more data like for instance user information or preferences. Managing this in a small app is no problem, but once the project grows it can be difficult to maintain everything and it is better to store everything in one global object, also known as the single source of truth. The second reason why you might want to consider using Vuex is the ability to trace state changes in Vue DevTools through mutators. We will learn later in episode 2 how these work, but for the moment it is enough to understand that mutators are functions which can be used to manipulate data in the store, similar to the concept of a setter, which must always be synchronous, and thus it is easier to track changes to the store. But how does it work? Vuex consists of the following components, store, getter, mutators and actions. The store obviously holds all the data required for our app. Getters return values from the store. Mutators provide synchronous access to store data. Actions can provide asynchronous method calls like for example Ajax and internally use mutators to manipulate store data. To learn more about these components, check out episode 2 for more details on getters, mutators and actions, or skip directly to episode 3 in order to see me how I create a to-do list application with Vuex in about 15 minutes. If this video was helpful to you, please click on the like button, subscribe by clicking on my face down here and by clicking on the bell icon you will get notified whenever a new video is available. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.